We're up here working on the Salmon River Aquatic Habitat Restoration Project, and I think the most important thing to note on the title sheet is the suite of partnerships, and it's a it's a really interesting mix of both federal agencies as represented by the Department of Interior, the BLM, uh, Department of Agriculture with the Forest Service, and then you see representation of state agencies as well with OWEB, um, and then the Sandy River Basin Partners and non-for-profits with like the Freshwater Trust. The Salmon River is real high priority stream for restoration because it currently supports three species of salmon and steelhead, uh, coho salmon, spring chinook salmon, and winter steelhead. And the river is largely simplified from past uh, flood control activities. And so po fish populations are probably about 20% of their historical levels. One of the key breakthroughs to river and watershed restoration over the last uh, few years was reflecting back on what's happened in the basin. For the Salmon River and the Sandy and, and actually many rivers throughout Oregon, where in the, the 50s and 60s, they would simplify the river system. Homes were being built on banks, so they reclaimed the floodplain. No one wanted their homes flooded. Um, side channels were washing out farm fields, so they would close off side channels. Uh, dams were put in the river for irrigation and hydroelectric power. So we, we ended up with a river system that flowed a lot faster and quicker. And when you have that extra energy moving through the system, your gravels are removed, your pools fill in, uh, you have bank scour, and you have very simplified habitat. And uh, Salmon is like the deep water, complex habitat and cover. By adding these structures to the river, we can slow the water a little bit, create some complexity, some pools some hiding cover. And they're in the process of constructing this log jam right down here below us. And that's meant to support the persistence of this island and also influence the large woody debris budget within the river. The next phase of construction is the habitat restoration actions within the side channel. And within the side channel we've got 12 large wood structures planned. Uh, to improve juvenile rearing and uh, high flow uh, velocity refugia. First thing you do is excavate out the footprint and then we place these longitudinal stringers and then after these stringers are placed we come back and place the first deck and so this deck bolts to the stringers using these all thread connections then you come back with the next tier that gets bolted to this tier and so you're just subsequently mm -hmm. building this thing up and, and, and bolting the, uh, the tiers together and then finally, we just call it the roughness treatment. And so that's what you see on the top here is just all these sticks that are coming out of that crib. And it looks like you've planted some. In particular, the coho like this slow water habitat with the complex wood along it. And then the, the juvenile steelhead also drop into these side channels.